My grandma was the person who introduced me to evaporated milk and then I started to drink it as normal milk. When I was younger I had a house and in the garden we had a pond and there was a frog in there, probably more than one, um, but it died and I decided to keep its skeleton as a pet for quite a while bit weird. Every year one of my grandma's friends would host a garden party and one year I was helping out and another of her friends had a cup of tea that he didn't like so he tipped it out onto the patio and I told my grandma this and then she told him off as a joke obviously and since that day he called me snitch. Around the age of two I went to a flower shop for some reason and in the front window display they had kind of like a rectangle of different glass shaped things and I stole a glass heart and to this day I still have it. Looking at me you wouldn't think that I did gymnastics but I did, not for very long but I managed to get one of those badges that you're meant to sew onto your little leotard thing. Fond memories. All I remember is you were meant to stretch out your toes and then pull them back in again just keep doing that with your feet don't know why maybe I could have been an Olympian by now if I didn't like food so much in the first year that I had lived on the island I, d I watched Peter Pan every day for a year because I'm scared of the dark and I was on my own in the evenings so yeah, I love that movie. It's the one with the people and the lead is played by Jeremy Sumpter, who's always had a special place in my heart. Sorry, missed. I feel like I've probably mentioned this story before, but in year nine, in religious studies, we were reenacting a Eucharist service, which is where you have the wafer and the wine. Um, but obviously we were like 14 so we had grapefruit juice and bread and I was the last person to go up and the teacher had run out of plastic cups so I had to use the big plastic cup thing that was massive for my grapefruit juice and there were two guys who played the priest and something else and they were stood at the front so I went up last no one else was stood up there because everyone else had already got there Jesus blood and body or whatever it is and um, when I started drinking everyone started chanting chug so um, obviously that would make me laugh because I laugh at everything so I laughed and managed to not only spit it out on myself and just dribble it out onto my white shirt which goes see-through when it's wet but also spit it out on the two guys that were the priest and the other thing and then people started calling me grapefruit girl for quite a while after but I didn't mind because I thought it was quite funny anyway I have done a separate video on this but when I was younger there was this this being called the ghost of terror which turned out to be my sister thankfully I guess um, there's a whole other video on that story so you can I'll just link you to that you can go watch that and uh, come back. I think it was year three but when I was in primary school I was around the age of eight to ten I guess and in the summer we always used to make daisy chains at lunchtime so one day I decided to contact BBC News and be like hey we are gonna try and break the Guinness World Record for the longest daisy chain and they replied to me and I got a call from the um, news reporter guy that would, would have reported it and he said that he wanted to film me and my friends in my school and that I had to get permission for that from my head teacher. Unfortunately, my head teacher did not want that. <laughs> I don't know why, bit of free advertising but whatever, it's not my decision bastard so they couldn't film there and then we didn't break the record anyway so because we were a bunch of like nine nine year olds but you know 
My claim to fame could have been daisy chain Guinness World Record, but no. Stupid head teacher. I won't name him because I know he's still alive. I have never broken a bone, which terrifies me because what if when I do break a bone, I break more than one to catch up on everyone else? Because there's always that, like, loads of kids in primary school that break their leg and then you, like, have a go on their crutches and you're just crutching around. I have been to Iceland, the country, not the supermarket, as people love to joke about, and I've seen the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, or however you say it. It's a beautiful country and if you ever get the chance to go, do it, because I mean, you're never gonna go anywhere like it. And there's not many people, which is good for me. Also, something that happened in primary school was I started a trend. I know, me. I have no, no fashion sense whatsoever. No interest in fashion either. I just wear what's comfortable, basically. But in primary school, I had a lot of those very thin headbands that were plastic and came in like neon colours and you know other people wore them too, it wasn't just me but I decided to wear more than one at a time so I would wear three different coloured neon headbands at a time to school and then other people started doing it and I was like wow I started this trend other people wouldn't agree that I started it but I know it was me because I Otherwise I would have seen some, yeah, anyway, it was me, shut up. <laughs> While on holiday to Ibiza a couple of years ago, I held an owl and I named him Sebastian. This is Sebastian and me. Don't know if you can see that, I'm hoping that you can. I love Sebastian. For about three, two or three years now I've been writing trying to write down all of my dreams just on my notes on my phone because I'm, I don't remember anything and I find dreams quite interesting because they're kind of like mini stories that haven't actually happened to me. I kind of want to read them again in a few years or whenever and kind of like see what was going on in my mind at the time and I always find that they link to something that's happening in my life. So I'll have a dream about climbing some stairs with Dan is not on fire and it will be the stairs from when I went to Iceland and it will be Dan is not on fire because I love him and because I watch his videos all the time. If you watch my videos regularly or <laughs> whenever I upload them, over the past few years you would have noticed that the background has changed multiple times and that is because where I'm living now is the tenth time I have moved. This is the tenth house that I have lived in. So I've lived in a caravan, I've lived in a terraced house, I've lived in a detached house, I've lived in a semi-detached house, I've lived in a flat. I have done the whole nine yards. Most people move 10 times in their entire lifetime, but I'm 17 and I've already done 10, 10 houses. It's quite a lot. I'm very lucky to have been able to see a lot of people live that most people would probably want to see, I don't know, depends on your music taste, but I also have gigs planned for the future. I mean, I have to see Paramore at some point. Oh, I love them. I love Hayley Williams. Also Brendan Urie. Gotta see Panic at the Disco. I've managed to be able to see people like Ed Sheeran, One Direction, Little Mix, Avicii, um, Ariana Grande, Jessie J, Jess Glynn, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga, N-Dubs and the Pussycat Dolls and JLS a couple of times. Um, who else? I've seen Iggy Azalea and Cheryl Cole. I definitely recommend seeing Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga and Ed Sheeran because not only are they really good live but their songs are good and the whole atmosphere is just amazing. Oh I also saw Pharrell, Pharrell Williams and Miley Cyrus and David Guetta but I didn't really get to see them because we were leaving so I kind of just heard them. <laughs> I hope you feel like you know more about me even though I did daily vlogs for like 123 days or something ridiculous. Maybe I'll have to do them again if 
my life gets more interesting. But right now I'm just sat at home doing work or watching Netflix or talking to Miss on Skype. So I'm sure no one would want to hear that. See you in my next video, whenever that is. I'm a worse YouTuber than Dad is not on fire. That's saying something. And I kind of... See you in my next video. I do I messed up my wave. Can't put that in, can I? <laughs> I did two waves. <laughs>